Like people ask me, why you don't travel with security? Every leader we got was done in by the traveling security. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody was done in by the traveling security. Now, one day I might have to do that. Don't get me wrong. But I'm keeping that off as long as I can. You feel me? Yeah. Right. Malcolm was done in by security. King was done in by Patrice Lumumba was done in by security. Yeah. I'm a Cal Cabral, his security. Fred Hampton, yep. the damn Judas, yep. poisoned his Kool-Aid. Yep. Poisoned the Kool-Aid and gave the FBI the whole layout of the Fred Hampton house, yeah. which his son is still trying to save in Chicago, by the way. Yeah. But here's the only issue I had with Judas and the Black Messiah. The movie shouldn't have ended there. The movie should have kept going to show you the investigation into Hampton's death because it would have exposed how the FBI was more involved than the movie really. I mean, they showed you that it was them, but they didn't show you the cover up. They didn't show you the case. They didn't show you all the facts that came out after Hampton's murder. Remember, they said all 99 bullets came from the Panthers gun. All 99 bullets came from the cops. The Panthers only shot one bullet, brother Mark Clark, rest in peace, which was a reaction bullet to oh, getting yeah. shot. Yep. They didn't show you that. And why did Fred Hampton have to die on December, what date was that? Second, you know why he had to die? He just came back from a meeting with Huey and Bobby. They was elevating Fred Hampton at the age of 21 to the Central Committee of the National Black Panther Party, and he was going to be their chief spokesperson. Yep. FBI said, you can't, you can't let him go national. Fred Hampton was the closest thing we had to a Malcolm. You see what I'm saying? He was only 21. Malcolm and Martin was in their 30s when they hit. Fred hit at 21. Well, King was in his 22 with the Montgomery bus boycott. But on that national piece, Fred would have been the youngest. Fred Hampton was so powerful that the white man said he can't live. We cannot let him assume that office. You always have to look at the timing of assassinations to figure out who killed him. 